Bookish Friday video. So today's video is going to be my complete owned TBR. So these are the books that are on the shelves behind me that you see in my videos that I own but haven't read yet. So I'm going to go through this per genre because that's how I have my shelves organised. So we are going to be here for quite a while. So I suggest you get a nice cup of tea and sit down and relax because it's going to be a long one. Okay, so starting with non-fiction, I have Brady and Hindley, uh, Genesis of the Moors Murders by Fred Harrison. A Child Called It by Dave Peltzer. The Odyssey of Homer, um, translated and um, with an introduction by Richard Lattimore. Richmond Lattimore, even. <laughs> Billy Butlin's Story by Sir Billy Butlin's. Myths and Legends by Miles Kelly. A book given to me by one of my YouTube friends, uh, The Murders at White House Farm by Carol Ann Lee. The Wars of the Roses by Martin J. Doherty. The Kings and Queens of England by Ian Crofton. Moving on to my graphic novels and manga, we have School Live number five, uh, art by Sadora Chiba and story by Norimitsu Kaihu. By the way, I suck at pronouncing names. The Disappearance of Nagato Yuki-chan, number one, by Art Puyu Stor Art Story, by Nagaru Tanigawa, and characters by Noitsi Ito. And I have uh, number three of that series as well. I have book one, two and three of Millennium Snow by uh, Bisco Hattori. That's number one. That's number two. And that's number three. I have the first book in The Wicked and the Divine, The Faust Act by Gillen McKelvey and Wilson Cowles. And I have this huge compendium of The Walking Dead, Compendium 1, by Robert Kirkman, Charlie Adlard, Tony Moore and Cliff Rathburn. Moving on to my classics, we have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Paradise Lost by John Milton, Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe, A Haunted House by Virginia Woolf, Irish Folk and Fairy Tales, Volume 3, by Michael Scott. The Railway Children, by E. Nesbitt. The Secret Garden, by Frances Hodgson Burnett. Little Women and Good Wives, by Louisa May Alcott. The Hound of the Baskervilles and the Valley of Fear, by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Lorna Doone, by R. D. Blackmore. The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston LaRue. The Lair of the White Worm and the Lady of the Shroud by Bram Stoker. Tales of Anise by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Sweeney Todd, The String of Pearls by James Malcolm Rymer. Journey to the Centre of the Earth by Jules Verne. Lord of the Flies by William Golding. A Child's Garden of Verses by Robert Louis Stevenson. The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. The Complete Fairy Tales Vintage Grimm, uh, translated, introduced and annotated by Jack Zipes. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Fairy Tales for Millennials by Bruno Vincent. The Borrowers by Mary Norton. Bedknobs and Broomsticks by Mary Norton. The Story of Dr. Doolittle by Hugh Lofting. Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. 
this also contains um, and through the looking glass um, and what Alice found there. Aesop's Fables, Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen and Disney's The Little Mermaid animated book um, originally obviously the story is Hans Christian Andersen. Moving on to my contemporaries we have I Heart New York by Lindsay Kelk, Annie May's Black Book by Debbie Holt, Bridesmaids by Jane Costello, Wonder by RJ Palacio, Hold Back the Stars by Katie Kahn, Paper Towns by John Green, Together by Julie Cohen, The Places I've Cried in Public by Holly Bourne, Two Boys Kissing, How They Met and Other Short Stories, and Every Day by David Leviathan, The Definition of Us by Sarah Harris, The Parisian Christmas Bake Off by Jenny Oliver, Faceless by Alyssa Scheimel, and The Time Traveller's Wife by Audrey Niffenager. After You by Jojo Moyes. This was another one gifted to me by a friend. Christmas at the Cupcake Cafe by Jenny Colgan. Five Years From Now by Paige Toon. When We Collided by Emery Lord. My Sister's Keeper by Jodie Picou. Geek Girl Model Misfit. Geek Girl Picture Perfect. Geek Girl All That Glitters All by Holly Smale. Why Mummy Drinks and Why Mummy Swears by Jill Sims. This one was also given to me by another fellow YouTuber. And Us by David Nichols. On to romance. So first of all we have Jade by Ruth Langan. The Devil and Drusilla by Paula Marshall. Rosabelle Volume 1 by Sylvia Andrew. And Annabelle Volume 2 by Sylvia Andrew. The Wastrel by Margaret Moore. Columbine by Miranda Jarrett. Miss Trelawney's Proposal by Mary Brandon. Claiming His Christmas Wife by Danny Collins. The Wicked Lord Raisinby by Marguerite Kay. Chivalrous Captain Rebel Mistress by Diane Gaston. Captain Corcoran's Hoyden Bride by Annie Burroughs. Disgrace and Desire by Sarah Mallory. Stolen by the Highlander by Terry Brisbane. Zachary Black, Duke of Debauchery by Carol Mortimer. Also by Carol Mortimer, Griffinstone, Duke of Decadence. Courted by the Captain by Anne Herries. Besieged and Betrothed by Jenny Fletcher. The Christmas Card by Dilly Court. A Time to Remember by Anna Jacobs. The Lost and Found Girl by Catherine King. The Very Thought of You by Rosie Allison. In the Flesh by Sylvia Day. The Butlins Girls by Elaine Everest. <laughs> Had to buy this one. And Sign on the Line by Jamie Clevenger. Moving on to mystery thrillers suspense, we have Homecoming Queen by John Hall, Nightmare Hall Sorority Sister by Diane Ho, Dream Date by Sinclair Smith, Shattered Icon by Bill Napier, Private Royals by James Patterson Bookshots. By Dan Brown, I have Angels and Demons, the Da Vinci Code, Deception Point, and Digital Fortress. By Gillian Flynn, I have Sharp Objects, Dark Places, Gone Girl. The Taking of Annie Thorne by C.J. Tudor. Before We Met by Lucy Whitehouse. I Know Where She Is by S.B. Caves. Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson. My Husband's Wife by Jane Corey. Labyrinth by Kate Moss. Forget My Name by J.S. Munro. By Stieg Larsson, I have The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, The Girl Who Played with Fire, 
and The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. The Rosary Girls by Richard Montanari. Kiss the Girls and Along Came a Spider by James Patterson. And The Jester by James Patterson and Andrew Gross. Middle grade, I have Mistress of All Evil by uh, Serena Valentino. Mother Knows Best, also by Serena Valentino. Part of Your World, A Twisted Tale and Once Upon a Dream, A Twisted Tale, both by Liz Braswell. Reflection, A Twisted Tale by Elizabeth Lim. The Monster Who Wasn't by T.C. Shelley. The Clockwork Crow by Catherine Fisher. A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison. Frost Heart by Jamie Littler. The Way Past Winter by Kieran Millwood Hargrave. The Dream Snatcher by Abby, Abby Elphinstone. The Night I Met Father Christmas by Ben Miller. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowland. Don't need to check that. The Frozen Sea by Pierce Torday. The Nutcracker and the Four Realms Disney tie-in for the film by Meredith Russo. Pages and Co. Tilly and the Book Wanderers by Anna James. Wondersmith, The Calling of Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend. The Beast of Buckingham Palace by David Walliams. And finally, moving into fantasy, let's start with the books that I have received through my Fairy Loot book box subscription. So, Eight Will Fall by Sarah Harrion. A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. An ARC copy of Wicked As You Wish by Rin Pecco. The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. And The Beautiful by Rene Adier. Moving on to some hardback editions of fantasy. Into the Crooked Place by Alexander Christo. The Never Tilting World by Rin Pecco. Winterwood by Shea Earnshaw. Deep Light by Francis Hardinge. Angel Mage by Garth Nix. Possibly, maybe not a fantasy, but I have it with them. It is The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. And The Red Squirrels of Magic by Cassandra Clare. By Robin Hobb, I have Assassin's Apprentice. Royal Assassin and Assassin's Quest, Fathomless by Jackson Pierce and Sweetly by Jackson Pierce, Legend by Mary Lou, an ARC copy of The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty, The Subtle Knife by uh, Philip Pullman, by Holly Black I have The Darkest Part of the Forest, Black Heart, Red Glove, White Cat, all by Holly Black, Resurrect, Rapscallion, and Rat Catcher by James McGee. I have this huge book of The Complete Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. And a couple of sci-fis I have Divergent by Veronica Roth, Light Years by Cass Morgan, Gone by Michael Grant. By Virginia Andrews, I have Dawn, Darkest Hour, Midnight Whispers, Twilight Child, and Secrets of the Morning. These are all part of the Cutler family series. I then have The Eye of the Storm and The End of the Rainbow. These are part of the Hudson family series. By Virginia Andrews. I then have Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor and yeah it bugs me that I have one in paperback and one in hardback too. What can you do? By Stephanie Garber I have Caraval and Legendary. Also by Lainey Taylor I have Daughter of Smoke and Bone and Days of Blood and Starlight. By Scott Lynch I have The Lies of Loch Lomora and Red Seas Under Red Skies. By Victoria Aveyard, 
I have Cruel Crown and Red Queen, The Knife of Never Letting Go and The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness, Noughts and Crosses and Checkmate by Mallory Blackman and I'm aware this is book one, this is book three, I'm missing a few. A Shiver of Snow and Sky by Lisa Ludecker, Charmcaster and Soulbinder by Sa Sebastian de Castel, Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo, Stargazer, Hourglass and Afterlife by Claudia Gray, Hush Hush, Crescendo, Silence and Finale by Becca Fitzpatrick. By Rachel Vincent, we have My Soul to Keep, My Soul to Save, and My Soul to Take. By Tahera Maffey, I have Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, Restore Me, Scythe, Thunderhead, and The Toll by Neil Schusterman, Poison Study, Magic Study and Fire Study by Maria V. Schneider. A Targetess by M.C. Watson. The Huntress Sea by Sarah Driver. Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. Vox by Christina Dalcher. The Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. The Good Look Girls by Charlotte Nicola. Sorry. So used to say Nicola. Charlotte Nicole Davis. We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Fezal. And Dracul by J.D. Barker. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker. Mageborn by Stephen Aryan. Dark Angel by Eden Maguire. A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Never Night by J. Christoph. Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, Ten Thousand Skies Above You and A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. The last books that I have on my shelves are actually sat on the very top of my bookshelf so they are a little bit harder for me to reach and I can't really get them down because I have some uh, Disney plushies sort of balanced on the top of them. So I'm just going to go over them um, as I just film me looking at the bookshelves. So that is what you're going to see next. So as you can see up here on the top shelf, I have my Little Mermaid Disney plushies. And this is why I can't get these books down because it took my husband to put them up there because this is about as far as I can reach. So yeah, uh, so I put all my box sets up on the top shelves here. So starting off, we have under Ursula's um, Tentacle, we have Game of Thrones, Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, um, Steel and Snow, A Storm of Swords, Blood and Gold and A Feast for Crows by George R. R. Martin. These are the first couple of books in the Fire and Ice series. Then we have The Hunger Games, um, well The Hunger Games, um, Catching Fire and Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. Then we have the Extinction Trials, um, the Extinction Trials Exile and the Extinction Trials Rebel by S.M. Wilson. Then we have Skullduggery Pleasant, Skullduggery Pleasant Playing with Fire and Skullduggery Pre Pleasant The Faceless Ones by Derek Landy. This is the box set of The Mortal Instruments. I have read all of these books, but I don't remove the box set until I've finished the box set. So there is City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, and City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare, but these are all read. 
Next we have the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson, The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension and The Hero of a Ages. I have read The Final Empire um, but I have not read these two yet. Then we have this series by Tad Williams. We have Shadow March, Shadow Play, Shadow Rise and Shadow Heart. <clears throat> Then we have this series by J.V. Jones. We have A Cavern of Black Ice, A Fortress of Grey Ice, A Sword from Red Ice and Watcher of the Dead. Then we have The Magisterium set by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. We have The Iron Trials, the Copper Gauntlet, the Bronze Key, the Silver Mask and the Golden Tower. And then these are two fake books from Fairy Loot and this is my box set of DVDs of Death Note. So that is all at the top there. And we also have finally the Mermaid Handbook an alluring treasury of literature, law, art, recipes and projects by Carolyn Turgeon. So that is the final book. So that is it. That is my complete owned TBR. Took an awfully long time to film that and it will take even longer to edit it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I didn't do any... Um, synopsis descriptions of any of these books otherwise you would have been here all week watching me on this video if you like the look of any of these books i'm sure if you just put in the title and the author into google i'm sure you'll be able to find a synopsis these books do not include any books that have come into my collection since the beginning of january 2020 this is in no means me bragging, I just wanted a visual representation of my bookca bookcases as they stand so that in a year's time when I look back on this video I can see which books have remained on my TBR and which ones have been moved out. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.